All right, here now with Reaction, outnumbered co-host Kaylee McEnany and former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee. Kaylee, let's get your thoughts on last night and the media mob, the biggest campaign contributors to all things Joe Biden and all things Democratic Party. Uh, will it be effective? You know, time will tell. I, I think not, though, and here's why. Donald Trump last night, he did not just make history. All he needed to do that was a 12.8 percent margin. He crushed history. I mean, he beat his nearest competitor by 30 points, winning, as you point out, 98 out of 99 counties, losing by one vote, the one county, just one singular vote. It was, by all accounts, historic. Now, the media, for their part, they don't learn their lesson. I mean, Sean, it's like 2016 on repeat, where the number one issue is immigration. We saw that last night, where the media just doesn't deride Trump. They deride his supporters. Um, you remember the, the Neanderthal thinking line from Biden recently. Back in 2016, you had Hillary Clinton, basket of deplorables. You had Don Lemon on his show laughing at the rubes who can't find countries on a map. They haven't learned their lesson. They continue to demean his supporters. But why I say it remains to be seen is this. I am worried that the media has a plan, and we saw it play out last night, to just censor this man, Jake Tapper. What a shameful moment from a so-called journalist, as you exposed him, he is not, to cut off Donald Trump and say, you can hear him under my voice saying anti-immigrant things. He was not. Let the people hear but the man true. speak, no, the leader of the Republican that's journalism. Party. That, that to him is a fact. Yep. He thinks he's a journalist. You know what he is? He's a talk show host. I'm a talk show host. I, I, I practice journalism. That's part of my job. I do investigative reporting. Uh, I give opinion. Uh, we talk about culture and sports. I'm like an entire newspaper, but they say they're journalists. That's the distinction. Uh, Governor Huckabee, let's get your reaction. You're somebody that won the Iowa caucus. Uh, nobody's ever won by a margin anywhere near this. The, the closest, Bob Dole in 88 with 13 percent. Trump wins by 30. How do you analyze that? What you do is you just stand back and just live in the awe of the moment. It was an incredible victory for Donald Trump, and it exceeded all the things that the press thought could happen. Uh, it was a tough night for Ron DeSantis. He put all of his uh, effort, all of his money in Iowa, believing that he could win there, or it certainly come very close. Uh, he did neither. It's going to be a tough uh, battle for him ahead, but tough for Nikki Haley. Here's the thing that I, I couldn't help. When you were playing those clips and these people were just pulling their hair out because Donald Trump had won and they wanted to make sure nobody could hear, I'm glad I had a moment to compose myself because I was laughing so hard thinking, what a bunch of idiots. And I was thinking about that great theologian, Ron White, who says, you can't fix stupid. And I'm thinking... The one reason that this only helps Donald Trump is because so many of us look at this and say, what are they afraid of? If they thought Donald Trump was really crazy or they thought he was dangerous, they'd want him to speak. They'd let him speak. But they couldn't let him speak because he gave one of the best, most sensitive, thoughtful, gracious speeches in victory that I've ever heard a politician do. They didn't want America to hear that because a whole lot of Americans would have said, I'll vote for that guy. I like what he says and the way he says it. You know what? It's simple. They can't run on Joe's record. It's going to be democracy in peril. It's going to be Donald Trump, 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 Trump. It's going to be J6, J6, J6. It's going to be demonizing abortion. And then Republicans are racist, sexist, misogynist, and have every phobia ever known to man, whether it's accurate or not. Uh, great analysis. Governor Huckabee, thank you. Kaylee, good to see you. Thank you as well. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.